What's up, gamers, gamers, and game? That's my name is John, and welcome to a new little game that, uh, actually, like, Makocha, uh, no, uh, Spy Chat, I'm sorry, even he even told me, like, you don't have to say my name, but it's always appropriate to ask your name, dude. Freaking, yeah, welcome to Nekokoro. So, previously, last time you guys uh, remember me playing uh, a game called Jake's. Uh, first love story or like Jake's love story on that. So yeah, it's pretty cool, man. So I saw the trailer of this before he even mentioned, uh, gave me the, uh, the, um, the code for the game, which is, thank you, Spy Chat, man. Just thank you for that. <clears throat> but you guys can go check this out and play for it for like on Steam, which is pretty cool. Also along with the description with the previous game of Jake's love story. And... And also, I had to turn off the music because apparently there was some copywriting things that uh, he warned me about. So thank you for that, dude. Woo! So we're gonna we're gonna see how this is going. I saw the trailer of it. You guys are gonna also check out the trailer for it. Link in the description down below. But yeah, let's get to it. Three Nekos, Neko Carl. All right, Mark. It's the same guy. I got the achievement a log. Neko Koro. Wait, was the guy named Mark from last time? No, it was Jake. Jake, not Mark. My bad. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, finally, classes are over. I'm glad I only have a few courses at the University of Fridays <laughs> uh, on this semester. Alright. It's really convenient that uncle, uh, that my uncle, you've got my uncle, let me uh, live here while he's working overseas. Okay. Huh. Oh, flashback. Alright. Keys, documents. I think that will be odd. Remember. I, I'm actually, I'm gonna give a different voice to, to them. Let's, let's give him the good old... Uh, I forgot what voice I can make out of this, but you, I think some of you might know what it is. Remember, the deal you made with your parents and me. Take care of this house and get good grades in your studies. Don't worry, I'll do my best. Alright, take care. If anything happens, call me. Just keep in mind the time zone's difference. If possible. Oh, one more thing. Could you throw away all the junk in the basement for me? Huh, so we're just getting around that. It's been two years already. Damn, damn, dude. I casually dropped the backpack near my desk. Okay, um, alright, what to do now? My stomach starts growling, as if on cue. Well, I guess I should make some dinner. Transition. By the way, the length of this game is basically 45 minutes, but also 25 minutes each of each individual character. That's gonna come very soon. After eating and cleaning the dishes, I thought of what to do next. Hmm, maybe. <coughs> Suddenly, I heard the doorbell. Huh? That's strange. I don't remember having an appointment with anyone today. Open the door. Ignore it. I mean, I could ignore it. And I could open the door, but basically I would just ignore it in all, in all honesty. Let me quick save this though. Alright, sorry I did that. Let's let's just ignore it. Even though we probably might know who it is, but you never open the door to strangers, guys. Freaking, unless you have a peephole just to see who it is, or unless it's like your package or whatever. Ignore. Nah, it's probably some traveler agent. No matter how many times I see the, those flyers, I never agree to buy something I don't need. Even if they seem appealing to me. <laughs> Someone rang the bell like once again. I knew somehow I knew that one's not gonna let me freaking go by. Nope, I'm not here. The sound repeated. Come on, go away. But the person was persistent. And then I heard something scratching against the door. So what the freak? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Without thinking, I rushed to see what was happening. Huh? Nobody's there. Meow. As I looked <laughs> down to the source of the sound. Okay. Well, that's a nice little cat. It's like freaking orangey brown and stuff. It kind of looks like a roasted chicken for some reason. I don't know why. It just does a little bit. But yeah, all right, cool. As I looked down to the source of the sound, I saw a red furred uh, cat. Did you cause this commotion? Red cat. Meow. Yeah. The cat and the cat entered the fl the flat gracefully. Uh, wait, the flat? What? The cat entered the flat gracefully. 
with confidence and headed to the kitchen. Hey! Where are you going? Where's your owner? I looked outside the apartment for anybody, anybody only to be met with empty streets. <sighs> Sign of I followed the cat to the kitchen. Meow. Are you hungry? Me? Um, alright. I placed the bowl uh, on the floor and poured milk into it. Here. I'll make myself tea as well. I turned to the kettle and watching as the cat looked uh, at the bowl without interest. Now what should I? <coughs> My thought was suddenly cut off yet by uh, <laughs> cut off by yet another doorbell. I hope that's your owner. Hello? Am I imagining things? Me? <laughs> okay. In front was a blue fur cat. All right, we're just getting a whole bunch of cats now. I ca the cat steadily went to the kitchen. Wow, without paying attention to me. What the hell? What the? What's happening? As I entered the kitchen uh, to watch over these two cats, and I heard another doorbell. I'm coming. Please let this one be their owner. Yes? But the, but the space in front of me was empty. Or so I thought. Me? A white cat? Oh, this is pretty nice. I like that. What are you doing here? The white cat looked around nervously. Me? Me? <laughs> and with a soft pitter patter, happily entered the, the kitchen. These cats don't give no fucks. Now, what do I do? Where did you guys come from? Mm, I don't see collies on any of you. I thought once again interrupted by another doorbell. You gotta be kidding me. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't hide my surprise. I'm not falling for that trick again. I knew what to expect and instinctively looked down. Oh, the door. Sir? I know, Postman, I know most of us throw the packages and run away, but I need to, you to sign this. Um, yeah, sure. Thank you. Have a nice day. Dots. Well, thankfully, it wasn't another pet. I had plenty of those in the last few minutes. As I went to my room, uh, I mean, went to the room to put the letters away, I heard female voices coming from the kitchen. I was too far away to hear what they were saying, though. That's strange. Did I turn off the radio? Wait a minute. I don't even remember having a radio in the first place. This is getting weirder and weirder. I approached close enough to the door to make out some weird no uh, some of the words. Excuse me. I can't. Uh, I can't wait to see his face. Are you? S are you sure this was a good idea? It's not like we had much of a choice now, do it? Did we? Transition. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mark. Well, this is something. Oh, look. It, it has the movement now in this one. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it was moving in the other. Um, console as well. Uh, but this is pretty nice. Uh, good on you, uh, Marcus Sp Spite Chal. I'm sorry for not your name. Oh, I'll just call you. I'll just call you like you know, like uh, M M S M S M S man. Freaking good. Good on you on this. Good on you. I stood speechless. Oh, well, she kind of doesn't look familiar from the other one. How much sugar? How <laughs> much sugar? Okay. Well, this is thumbnail three, and then there were three cats. And a protagonist. Whatever. Alright. How much, uh, how much sugar? The blue-haired girl politely asked as she poured, uh, the hot water to my cup. Two, two teaspoons, please. Dots. Who, who are you? And where are the, where are those cats? Uh, we are... Oh, the cats, that's us. My name is Rose, the most beautiful and also... The dumbest as well. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright. Please excuse my sisters. Uh, I don't know which one's a good freaking phone thumbnail. It's a bit hard to explain, so let me start from the beginning. Uh. I hesitantly nodded as I took the cup of tea from the girl. Allow me to introduce us. My name is Iris, the idiot here is Rose, and that's Lily. Uh, hello. Okay, hi, um, I'm Mark. I didn't know what to say, so I just introduced myself too. Three sisters responded with a nod of their own. I'll get straight to the point then. We're not from this planet. 
dot 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 dots. I don't understand. <clears throat> well, that's probably to be expected. Simply put, we're aliens. Oh! Okay. That... That clears things up. Totally. Mister, are you alright? You're a bit pale. Huh? I'm... Uh... Sorry, I, I just don't know what's happening. I'm losing my mind already. My, 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 my. Where do we start? Alright. <clears throat> In a nutshell, because of the unfor unforeseen events, we were forced to leave our home through the quantum gate. Quantum gate? I doubt he understands anyway. Let me tell you why we're here then. Can you let us stay with you for a while? The fuck? <laughs> Please, sir, we don't have anywhere else to go. Um, uh, whoever. Whoever. Wait, who, what? Whoever they were. Okay, whoever they were entering someone's house was too sus suspicious. Exactly. What the fuck? Alright, get out, or I'm calling the police. Oh, well, he's logical. Are you. Are you crazy? The, offic uh, the officials will cut us to pieces for research if you do that. Rose, be quiet, please. Please, Mark. Just for a few months, please let us stay here until I can build a new portal so we can get back. Uh, I need to think about this. Anyway, how old are you? <laughs> how dare you ask ladies such questions. Mm, our planet has similar ratio periods to Earth, so... Dots. She's calculating. Rose in <coughs> Rose in Earth years is 23. I'm 21, and Lily is 19. Oh wait, what? Okay. Well, that's something. <coughs> the average, the average life, uh, the average li lifespan of our race is very similar to yours. Anyway, we're carefully chosen, chosen you as our best chance. So please, can you help us? Well, I might as well be imagining things right now, so what the hell? No, nobody would believe me anyway. Uh, I guess you can stay for a while. And now that I think about it, it's getting a bit lonely here with nobody around. Oh, here we go. And with this, everything started. Transition. Oh! Alright, so we got the, the, the intro PV. This is from the trailer. By the way, I took off the music for a reason. Like, he told me, because it will affect the uh, revenue and stuff. So, I'll just leave, like I said, just check out the description, uh, link, uh, the video description of the trailer of this with the music in the description down below. Even though I said description, like, two or three times, like, what the fuck? All right, so we get the introduction of Rose. We're going to the mall. The mall, all right. Uh, he really done well for himself, like, especially the background. There's Lily. All right, there's Dad. Honestly, I said this from before. Like, they, it was really, really big eyes. Like, really big overall eyes on this. This kind of reminds me of the 90s kind of way, kind of way in, the, in the perspective, if you think about it. Oh, she had popcorn. All right, I did new clothes. All right, well, let's go. Oh, well, yeah, there's <laughs> that's a bathroom. It's a gun. So that's something. Neko Koro, it's, uh, copyright by Makola G. Spy Chop. So that's good. Well, I could and should ask them a few questions. You know what? I think this is a good enough episode for right here for right now. Even though this is like a short, short episode of it. I'm sorry for that. But we're gonna continue from next time. So without further ado, I hope you guys have a good night. Good and then go more from wherever you're from. So peace out and say you know that. Bye bye.